Well, good day, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. We've got some more bad behaviour by the girls. Um, let's have a look at what we've got this time. Uh, ex Wichita Falls woman arrested in fatal drunk driving wreck. And there's a picture of it. Let's have a look. My goodness. Drunk. Look at this over here. We've got debris here. Oh, it's a crash site. Goodness. A former Wichita Falls woman is in the Wichita County Jail in connection with a vehicular crash that happened on July 22, 2022 and claimed the life of another woman. Alison Fabins <clears throat> is charged with intoxicated manslaughter with a vehicle and intoxicated assault with a vehicle. She was arrested and jailed Monday in lieu of a total of $75,000 bail. Natalie Jo Brown, 58, of Wichita Falls, died from multiple injuries and received in the pin in wreck. Um, this is what these drunk people do. And I don't know what they're going to do to this woman, but she ain't going to be... Um, I think they'll put her away for sure. According to an affidavit filed in the case, Forbins was the driver of a Kia Sportage that was westbound in the 2700 block of Lower Park Road and attempted to pass a truck. Oh my God. <clears throat> attempted to pass a truck using the centre turn lane, but the vehicle continued into eastbound traffic and collided head on with a GMC terrain in which Brown was a passenger. The driver of the terrain was also injured but survived. Brown died from her injuries on August the 4th, 2022. And our prayers go out to her family. And this is the thing, so you can't bring these people back. You can't, you can't change what's happened. Forbins told investigators she could not remember what happened. Now remember when we, and we're still doing it, um, the suitcase suffocator thing that we're doing. She denied, she lied, she couldn't remember, blah, blah, blah. It was all lies. Well, she told investigators she could not remember what happened at the time of the wreck, but admitted to drinking alcohol that day. According to the affidavit, a blood test revealed she had a high level of alcohol in her system. Well, that ain't going to bring Mrs. Brown back, is it? Forbin's currently lists an address in Arlington, Texas, according to jail records. The article originally appeared here in the Wichita um, Falls Record News. And there we go again. Terrible, terrible story. Okay, guys, we'll um, wrap it up there. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. Um, just be mindful of what women are capable of. I'm not against women. I appreciate them very much, but we must also be aware that they are capable of very dangerous behavior. This is Pro Ricky. Again, subscribe, ring the bell for more of this wonderful content. Like the video and share it if you think it's any good. And bye for now.